We're here to talk about Quidditch, specifically the sport of Quidditch. Can you describe exactly what the sport of Quidditch is? Quidditch takes aspects from a bunch of different sports, dodgeball, rugby, basketball, handball, flag football, kind of mixes all those things and creates this really fun, active sport. You'll take aspects of handball, you're trying to throw the ball through the hoop, get a goal, Rugby comes in when you play at the full contact level. Flag football comes in with the snitch game. In the books, the, the golden snitch is a little flying ball with wings. We don't have enchanted balls or anything like that, so we actually use a person. They're normally dressed in some type of gold or yellow apparel, and they will have on a pair of snitch shorts. Velcro to the back of their pants is a tennis ball and a sock. The seekers have to try and grapple and get around the snitch and grab that from them. Now, what are these objects that we're holding right now? So these are our broomsticks. They don't look very broom-like. Again, a little bit of a variation from the books and the movies there. Um, but a lot of the modifications we've done for the sport is to make it more safe for our players and just to fit real life more easily. <laughs> That's good. So that yeah. muggles can play the sport, exactly. not just wizards. I understand that there's different headbands that each position plays and the colors represent different roles. So white headbands are chasers? Yeah. Okay, cool. And then beaters are black? Yeah. Beaters are black? Okay, and then green is keeper? Yep. And then seeker is yellow. So you'll see people with uh, four different color headbands on the pitch. Our green headbands represent our keepers. They're the ones that are trying to stop shots from going into the hoops. They do score a lot of goals as well, so it's a very versatile position, lots of running back and forth. Folks in the white headbands are the chasers. They're the ones that are going to be going to score the quaffle through the opponent's hoops. Black headbands are worn by our beaters. Those are the ones that play with dodgeballs. Again, a little bit of a variation. There's no bewitch balls. There's no bats. We just use dodgeballs, so the beaters are using those to try and hit people and knock them off their broom, causing them to dismount, run back, touch their hoops before they can re-enter play. The last color headband is the yellow headband, which is worn by our seeker, and those are the ones that are trying to catch that snitch runner, so grab the tail from the back of their shorts. Can you expand a bit more on the different kinds of balls that are in the sport of Quidditch? So on the pitch, you will see three dodgeballs. Again, those are used by our beaters. We call them bludgers. And then we have a quaffle, which is a slightly deflated volleyball. The bludgers are also slightly deflated just to ease uh, in handling them, usually with one hand since your hand is on the broom. And then the last ball is, is the snitch. So these are a model of our snitch shorts here. So they look pretty similar. And then on the back, this is what the seekers are trying to grab. Mm -hmm. So it's just Velcro to the back of the shorts and the Seekers just have to, have to try and grab that. Yeah, it's yeah. cool to see the ver different variations in Quidditch and how we have adapted it into a sport, and which is a good segue to talk about the various misconceptions that Quidditch experiences. So a lot of people, when they hear Quidditch, they think of this like fantasy sport that exists in books and movies, and they don't understand that it's actually a game that is played actually very competitively in real life. So getting over those misconceptions is probably one of the biggest hurdles for Quidditch. But as soon as people come into the sport, give it a try, they usually enjoy it quite thoroughly. Just getting people onto that broomstick is the, the, initial, uh, the initial hurdle. Let's talk about the different programs that the, diff that the Calgary Quidditch Club offers, starting with your youth program. Yeah, our youth program has been running for three seasons now, so we actually started up last fall. We accept kids any age between 9 and 14, and we have the program run every Tuesday evening. We have had them go out to a couple tournaments, we've hosted a couple here, had a couple up in Red Deer, and we've actually seen another youth program in Hannah, so now there's a couple teams for the youth kids to play. It's been a really successful program so far and we're looking forward to expanding that. And it's offered in the summer and the fall? Correct, yes, yeah, September, October, and then May and June as well. It's a really good way to get a group of kids that aren't usually involved in sports out and running and they don't realize how tired they are. <laughs> and yeah, it's a really great sport to get more kids physically active. Here's another misconception that we talked about a bit at the Fantasy Fair was the nerd culture aspect of it, right? Not everyone that plays Quidditch is a Harry Potter fan or has actually read the books. People that have never played sports as adults will come into the sport and thoroughly enjoy it. You'll have people that have played sport 
it's their whole lives and come into it and enjoy it because it is competitive. One of our coaches, for example, had never read the books before. People that don't really associate with the literature or the or the movies and whatnot and then just come into it as a really awesome sport. We've talked a bit about the youth program. Let's talk about the programs that are offered for adults. For sure, yeah. Our adult teams actually practice usually year-round. The summer is kind of an off-season, but we do run programs throughout that. We have three what we call development teams. So we play at a lower contact level with our development teams. It's not like the full hits taking to ground. So our low contact teams are the University of Calgary Phoenixes. They play out of the U of C, but they do accept any community members as well. The Mount Royal University Manticores, again, based out of university, but accept uh, anyone to join their team. And the last is the Calgary Kelpies, and they are primarily a community team. And they practice, again, like I said, year round, and they'll play in tournaments, whatnot. We just started our indoor bi-weekly Quidditch League at the West Hillhurst Community Associations. Feature those three teams every second Sunday, and we allow drop-ins for that program as well. That's awesome, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Now let's talk about the next step up, which is the competitive league. Yeah, the more competitive players, the ones that want to get to that extra level, they'll kind of join forces and they play on the Calgary Mavericks. So that's our competitive full contact team. Um, they're the ones that go to regionals, nationals, uh, last year they did finish with a silver medal, which is really awesome. And again, that team is open to anyone that's interested in joining as well. What got you into Quidditch? When I was in university, I was looking for an extracurricular, uh, something to do in my spare time. And uh, being a bit of a Harry Potter lover myself, I had heard that Quidditch was something that existed in the real world down in the States, and I wanted to try and bring it to Calgary. Uh, found out there was a couple Canadian teams as well. Found another couple people interested in helping me get it started at the U of C. And then it just kind of grew from there. Wanted to find somewhere that I could, you know, feel like I belonged. And Quidditch actually provided a great avenue for that. For anyone that wants to get involved in these respective programs, how do they become a part of the Calgary Quidditch Club? The best way to find out more info about our programs is through our website, calgaryquidditch.ca. So all of our teams are listed on there, our programs. It's a great way to find out kind of maybe which program suits you best. After that, it would be reaching out to either us as an organization or the team specifically. All of our email addresses and whatnot are online as well. Uh, you can find us through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Quidditch is a sport that draws aspects from so many other games that we know and love and puts them all together, creates this really fun, competitive environment and I think uh, anyone that tries it will fall in love with it pretty quickly. So I hope that more people will come out and give the sport a try and um, yeah, see you on the pitch. And if you would like to learn more about this sport or any other activity, just check out Sport Calgary's website at sportcalgary.ca.